Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Elaine Racecourse here on Friday. It is January the 13th, 2017. I'm going to look at all the races on today's program from Elaine. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKit5 for more selections from racetracks across the world. So let's get on to it. Seven races on today's program. The first rain is Watva Stud Farm Cup for private owners only. We have a field of 15 horses traveling the seven furlong distance here 1400 meters on the dirt course going for an estimated purse of seventy thousand dollars in this handicap it's for four-year-olds bred in, in the uae for five-year-olds and for four-year-olds uh rated zero to 43 uh, my top selection in the spot i'm going to go to the nine horse number nine amir al shrira um tang o'shea is on this uh this horse uh, 11 year old uh, chestnut horse last time out he ran at Shajar on the 24th of december going the 1700 meters mile 16th and just a basic 0 to 35 conditions handicap horse finished third that day by uh one and a quarter lengths really you know it's a track that plays towards front runners really couldn't get a great closing kick i think today on this course this horse should have a very good run start before sarja 17th of december and a 0 to 50s conditions race 1700 meters again mile 16th horse finished seven by 10 lengths that day was far back really just didn't do that well really weakened up actually just wasn't his day to win and his last start here at lane was probably even worse on the uh the, the second of december uh going a mile 1600 meters horse finished eighth by thir uh, by uh, 14 and a half lengths really weakened out of it that day but uh you know i think this horse should do well getting uh going to a lesser trip here of the 1400 meters um you know breaking from the uh the outside isn't so you know it's it's kind of bad but i think this horse could overcome it here it gets tango shea also who's having a very good year so far so to recap my bets now for race number one from alain gonna go with the nine horse amir al -Sera. so now let's get on to race number two the second race is is the darley flying start trophy handicap it's going for an estimated purse at seventy five thousand dollars we have a field of 18 horses traveling the distance of ground of five furlongs a thousand meters on the on the dirt and my top pick in the spot i'm going to go to the six horse number six tajiz with dane o'neill you know this horse is a seven-year-old bay gelding um he's been around the, the block a few times he's out of raven's pass if you remember raven's pass gave frankie Dettori his first ever breeders cup classic winner in 2008 at santa anita park but um you know raven's pass is not a horse i think about going five furlongs but this horse has some speed last time out ran on the 10th of december at Tulane and a zero to 70, uh, 70 conditions uh, race. Um, this horse finished fifth by three quarters of length. It was an all-out finish, but just didn't have his head in front. Um, you know, I think this horse should really improve off of that start today. Start before at 1,200 meters at Sarjar, 19th of November, at a zero uh, in, at a zero to 70 conditions race. Horse finished second by two lengths. Really, you know. It was leading that day, but got overtaken. It was a disappointing loss. Um, if this horse could have a very good, clear run, I think this horse could win. Um, you know, he hasn't won in quite a while. He is a winner of... Um of uh, a f quite a few starts uh, four starts out of 30 um, but he's never won on um, you know he, he's only won once on dirt that scares me a little bit but uh, I, I think he could overcome it to to win here today it's a little bit of a wide open race um, I'm going to take my chances with this one here today so to recap my best race number two from Elaine it's the Darley Flying Star Trophy going to go with the six horse Tajiz going to go now let's get on to race number three from Elaine Racecourse and the UAE. It, uh, the third race is the Al Barash uh, Maiden Race. Estimated purse of seventy thousand dollars they're going for. We have a field of fifteen horses traveling the mile and one quarter distance, two thousand meters on the dirt course ahead of them. It's for maidens four year olds and upward, which in, with an official rating bred in the UAE. Um, we have, a, like I said, we have a field of uh, whatever horses I just said before, um, fifteen horses, and my top pick in this one. I'm going to go to number 11, number 11, Tashkiel. Nicholas Barcelona is on this um, five-year-old bay horse. Um, this horse is had a start already this year, last week, last Saturday to be exact, at Elaine. 
1600 meters in a maiden race horse finished third that day by 11 lengths wasn't catching the winner who ran incredibly well but held his own for a third place finish i think this horse will love the mile and a quarter distance here today he's been really looking for it start before a sarjar on uh, before, uh 24th of december and a main race 2000 meters same conditions uh, same race as today same distance horse finished 10th that day by uh by just far far back um you know he, he just really weakened out of it it was it's a racetrack that's placed more towards uh speed and he, he didn't have a lot of speed that day um his better races have come locally here at a lane um and then start before 10th of december at a lane at a main race 1600 meters horse finished third by 15 legs wasn't catching the winner but this horse was best definitely third best i think this horse should have a good run here today wanting with getting the added distance watch out for this one to run a big one so to recap my bets for race number three from a lane gonna go with the horse so now let's get on to race number four from Elaine it's the Al Sarge uh, hopefully I say this right the Al Sarge uh, handicap going for a purse at $75,000 it's for four-year-olds five-year-olds uh, rated 0 to 45 also for four-year-olds rated 0 to 56 we have a field of 19 horses traveling the distance of ground of 2,000 meters on the dirt course, a mile and a quarter ahead of them. And my top pick in the spot, I'm going to go to the outside to the 11 horse, number 11, Crystal Des Violetes. Um, Fernando Shara. Fernando Hara is on this um, uh, five-year-old uh, chestnut horse, um, but this horse um, last start out came locally here at the lane. Dirt course, maiden race, 2,000 meters. Horse finished third that day by 10 and three-quarter lengths. Really didn't quicken up at the end. It, it just wasn't this horse's day to win. It was his first start on dirt of the season, so I think he needed a dirt start. Second dirt start of the year, I think this horse should be really raring to go. Start before it came on the 4th of December at Abu Dhabi on, in the 0-70 to 70 condition race going a mile this horse finished 11th that day by 18 and a quarter lengths was just far far back really did not do anything um and then start before at abu dhabi uh you have to go to his last start last season um in the uae on the 6th of march uh in a grade 3 2400 meters um you know this horse finished 10th that day and was against better horses really didn't show up coming back to dirt today he, he should do well um you know his uh you know he, he should do well second off the layoff on dirt so to recap my best race number four from elaine gonna go with the with the 11 horse here crystal des Villetes. so now let's get on to race number five from elaine race course the fifth race is the al jahali maiden race per seventy thousand dollars we have a field of 19 horses but we do have a few uh, non runners here. Uh, take out the eight horse, take out the 13 horse, and take out the 16 horse. So we have three withdrawers here. But um, my top pick in the spot is very wide open race. I, I like the 15 horse, number 15, Asyad. Uh, Tang O'Shea is on this uh, four year old chestnut filly. Um, she is, only has one start under her belt. That was at Abu Dhabi on the 18th of December, going in a president's uh, race on a good turf course, 1,400 meters. Horse finished fourth by eight and a half lengths that day. And, uh, you know, didn't really quicken up at the end of the race, but was sitting mid-pack. And, uh, you know, this horse needed a little extra kick. I think coming to dirt today, this horse should really run a big one is running the um instead of running the 1400 meters this horse is running last start out is going the um the 1600 meters so it gets the uh the extra furlong to really quicken up i think this horse should really have a good start here today so i'm going to use it as a top pick so to recap my bets for race number five from uh, elaine it's the al jahali maiden race gonna go with the 15 horse here asyad so now let's get on to race number six the sixth race from elaine is the al Al, <laughs> the Al Makam uh, handicap. I've, I've been saying these races wrong uh, all day, so please pardon that. Uh, it's the Al Makam handicap purse, eighty-five thousand dollars. We have a field of fifteen horses, but we're down to a field of fourteen because the six horse is a withdrawn horse. So uh, fourteen horses traveling the distance of ground of sixteen hundred meters, one mile ahead of them. And my top pick in the spot will go to the three horse. Number three, Al Salam. Um, Jim Crowley is riding this horse, and this is my best bet of the day from Elaine. Um, you know, this horse is coming out some uh, coming out of some very tough races at Abu Dhabi on the turf. Most recently on the 11th of December, going uh, in a zero to 80s conditions race, 1600 meters. Horse finished fifth by three and a quarter lengths that day, and. Um, Actually had the lead in the stretch run two furlongs from home, but actually just weakened out of it. Um, if this horse could 
reserve his speed. I think he should uh, win. Start before Abu Dhabi, 4th of December, 0-70 to 70 conditions race going a mile. Horse finished second by one and a half lengths. Uh, you know, it really closed up a tiny bit, but needed a little extra kick. And then his last start locally here at Elaine, 18th of December, uh, excuse me, the uh, 18th of November on the dirt course, 0-90 to 90 conditions race, 1,600 meters. Horse finished third by uh, one and a half lengths. You know, was just uh, was sitting second off the leaders that day, but uh, in, in a stretch run, again, he lacked a little bit of a closing kick. I think today this horse should really run well. Like I said, he'll be my best bet of the day from a lane. So to recap my bets for race number six from a lane race course, going to go with the three horse, El Salam. So now let's get on to race number seven. Seventh race, the final race on today's program. It's the Al Ain Marathon Series Round Two, going for an estimated purse of $100,000. It's for five year olds. Uh, which are rated 0 to 90 field of 11 horses going the 3200 meters here two miles ahead of them so it's a very long stairs race uh, on the dirt and uh, my top pick in the spot I'm going to go to the three horse number three Aslan a French bred horse here with Richie Mullen um, you know this horse has been running in those kind of stairs races most recently had a start last week here at Elan uh, dirt course and a 0 to 90 conditions race 2000 meters mile quarter this horse finished fourth by five and a half lengths that day and uh, you know it was just never there um, he, he likes the longer distances so you know it's a little bit too short I I think today with the added distance, the short should be rearing to go. Start before on the 10th of December at Elan, uh, and a 0 to 90s condition race, 2,600 meters, so that's about a mile five eighths. This horse um, finished second by a neck and just, just, just missed the victory. Um, it was a disappointing beat, but if he runs that race today and has his neck in front, I think he has the victory. Of course he does, and any other race he does. Um, and then start before his second December at Elan, uh, 1,600 meters. Horse won by uh, two and a quarter lengths. A very good victory. You know, closed up incredibly well. Just looked, you know, he looked nice. I'm going to use this horse here as my top pick. So to recap my bets for race number seven from Elan race course, it's the Elan Marathon series round two I'm gonna go with the three horse aslan so good luck to all and follow me on twitter at horse racing kid five good luck